Hey, what's up? I am Christopher. Today I want to talk about Workflow. Workflow is an iOS application available for both the iPhone and the iPad. It is $2.99 in the App Store. Before I get started, I just want to say this is not a review. This is just kind of like a walkthrough, not even a tutorial, just kind of showing you um, what the app can do. I've only had the app about five hours now. I believe it came out about four or five days ago. So I've only had it a few hours. And like immediately when I opened it, I was like, wow, this is amazing. This is like uh, automator. If you've ever used a Mac, it's like automator for your iPhone or, or your iPad. Um, it kind of has some of the things like drafts has, but it also has some cool things. Like if you've ever used the website, if, uh, if this, then that you kind of have, uh, features of both of them within this application, as well as automator, uh, editorial, there's a bunch of uh, Python. These there's a bunch of apps for iOS that this kind of combines all that, but it kind of simplifies it. Um, so let me just show you a little bit uh, right here. You'll notice that I have my workflows. These are some that I've created, the untitled one, and a couple of the other ones that are already populated within the application that you can install um, into the app. So you'll just tap over here where it says gallery right here. I'll just tap that. And then you'll see these are great uh, action extensions. These are the featured ones. You got some location one, utilities. Uh, you can kind of swipe up here at the top uh, right here. And then you'll see the sharing. Uh, you can make an animated GIF or GIF, however you refer, um, refer to that as. You swipe again. You got the clipboard. So let's just tap that. These are some different clipboard ones. Let's go with the great action extensions. As you can see, make PDF, append to Evernote, tweet and uh, link and title, uh, which are really cool. Let's go with the sharing. You can see uh, charge half, tweet song, yada, 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 cross post. All right, so I want to show you the tweet song, which I think is really cool. Um, I was asking about this on Twitter about, I don't know, maybe a week and a half ago. I was actually asking how to do it from my Mac. I was like, man, I, I used to like iTunes. You could just tap tweet song, whatever what you're listening to. Why people want to do that, I have no idea, but I wanted to do it. But now I can do that right from my phone. So let me show you how that works. I'm going to open up my music app. And before I do this, I'm going to turn the volume down a little bit so it's not that loud. I'm going to tap the black keys, and I'm just going to tap little black submarine. Song. Little black submarines operate please. Put me post. back on the line. And as you can see, here goes the tweet that I just tweeted right here in my timeline. Alright? Alright, so let me show you the cross post one right here. This is really cool if you want to uh, post to multiple sources as you can see workflow does not have access to your photo so i'll go ahead and grant access to that all right then we're going to scroll down here and we're going to grant access to my twitter account as well as my facebook all right as you can see right here i have all my twitter accounts or both of my twitter accounts and uh, for the Facebook, you have visibility. So let me go ahead and tap that. And I'm just going to tap everyone. Um, you can show compose sheet. And you can show compose sheet. Um, Instagram has it right there. So now let me go ahead and um, select multiple photos. Ask when run. And let me go ahead and tap play. Select multiple. Done. Got my photos here. So let's just take this one and done all right so there we have this picture here I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that one and we got the Facebook one go ahead and cancel that one you could go ahead and put it like an album if you wanted to do that um, whatever, I'm going to go ahead and cancel that. Instagram, it's going to boot Instagram. Now let me put a filter to it. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that. Go back to the app. You get the idea, though. All right. Now, what you can do is really cool. Right here at the bottom, you can add to home screen. Um, share. Let me go ahead and just tap that right there. Then you're just going to tap add to home screen. 
I'm going to click add. And then there's my cross post right here. Really, really fast. If I want to use it, I just go ahead and tap cross post. And it's going to open up. So I'll start running. Boom. Goes into the app. Select multiple photos. And done. Go ahead and add me a hashtag to here. Post. Add me a hashtag. Post. I'm not going to do Instagram for this photo. Boom. There's my workflow. Really cool, really cool stuff or whatever. All right, so this is workflow. If you want to create your own workflow, you can come up here. You got actions at the bottom, and then you got workflow. So I can tap the action. Um, I can tap the workflow, go back and type the action. Uh, if you want to see all of them, tap all. You can scroll up and down. Some of them you'll have to install, like Quest Money right here, um, add to draft, uh, pin to Dropbox. This stuff right here kind of reminds me of drafts. Uh, get file from Dropbox. Uh, open draft, save to Dropbox, get Street View image, uh, current song. These are really cool. Um, make a GIF or GIF, however you refer, want to refer to it as. As you can see, there is a ton of stuff here, um, and I'm sure more will be added as it goes. There's also a cool thing you can do. Oh, you can also go to Twitter and search for the workflow.is. Uh, slash workflow. I'll put a link to that in the description. Show you there's some really great extensions in there that you can add. Um, good little uh, tools to, to try to use. So let me go back over here and you can go back up here. Let's go suggested and then you can kind of scroll up and down some of their suggested ones that they have uh, built into the app. I think the uh, scan QR barcode is really cool since that's not um. let me put that there. Alright, so let me run it. Scan code don't have a QR code uh, cancel don't have a QR code but what you can do with this is let me put this so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add that to my home screen uh, let's get this I like green it's my favorite I like that color green my favorite color all right so we we'll go ahead and add that Add the home screen, add, and then there it is. So then if I need an app really quick, so I just basically created an app for my iPhone. And if I had a QR code, just what I would do is I would just tap QR. It's going to open up. Go ahead and hit run, and then I would just scan down uh, my QR code, which I don't actually have one, but pretend that was one. Boom. Uh, it's not going to scan because it's not a QR code. But anyway, you get the idea. All right, well, this is Workflow. Like I said, this was not a review. This is kind of just a walkthrough of the app, just kind of showing a little bit about what it is and how that it works. Um, it, there's so much to this app that really try not to get into all of it. But uh, definitely check it out. Um, I will post a link to the Twitter search where you can find all the cool little workflows for this app or whatever. Um, you can go to the developer's website. I'll put a link to that. And remember, you can find me on Twitter at iCrizzo. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.